and welcome to the CMT basics video. In this video, I'm going to show you where everything is in the break room, how to set up your room, and make sure that everything's clean and sanitized and ready to go. So first things first, we're going to do a tour of the break room. So behind me, you'll see that we have three big cabinets with set of um, doors on the top and the bottom. So as you go across, you have locker room, the CMT cabinet, and the SDs. I know it doesn't quite line up with what's on the boards on the outside. Don't worry about it as long as you know where each of them are. So we'll start with these locker room ones. So the top one, if you open it up, you'll see this is where all our slippers are. We have two kinds. We have some with the hard rubber, and we then we have the textured soft rubber ones. So you wanna make sure that these all end up in here um, not stuck like this pair, um, just put in like that so it's easy to put inside the robes and in the locker room for our um, guest coordinators. In the bottom, this is where all our locker room towels are. You will need to know where these are for our services, such as happy hour, because they are white and clean and they are useful for those kind of things. You'll notice that we have the bath mats, which are the folded long ways back to bath mat versus just the regular locker room towel. You also see this one has one stripe, the other one has two. So just know where they are, they're all in here if you need them. Our second cabinet here is where you're gonna spend most of your time, okay? So in here is where we're gonna have all of our main towels. So up here on the top are these big tan ones. Okay, they have the three stripes. You're mainly gonna use these for our body polish. So you'll need four of them at a time. Refer to that video to see how to do it, but they all go up here on top. Then you're gonna have all of our hand towels. So we have four different colors. So we have this kind of light beige in different tones, but we have beige. We have a kind of a gray, ish color, brown, and green. So just think of this, earth tones equal CMT towels. So if it's an earth tone, it's gonna probably go into this cabinet, except for our washcloths. Our washcloths are used to wipe off feet after service if they're a little lotion-y, or just to clean up with, and also for happy hour. So this is the only time you're gonna see white and gray towels inside the CMT cabinet. And then back here behind all the washcloths will be our foot wrap size towels. So they're kind of an odd size of a towel and unfortunately a lot of them have the this um, rattiness to them uh, but it's this different size for your foot anytime you're going to wrap up feet um, for our back, for our foot mask, for our foot scrub, or even using it in our bath mask as well. So this, these towels will be used quite often. Now at the top cabinet. Now when you head down to the bottom cabinet, there are no towels in this cabinet, but this is where you're gonna find everything you need for a lot of our services that are add-ons as well as um, happy hours. So you have, and body polish. So you have all of our sheets, the sheets for the happy hour, your extra hair ties, which you'll see the cup in your room. Did I say body? Okay, body polish, right? Body polish for this guy. Um, hair ties to be able to refill um, your cups in your room. I'll show you where those are when you get in there, as well as our scrub. We have a lavender scrub, a tangerine scrub. Then you have your mask for foot mask, back mask, happy hour, all of that. The lotions for both uh, both scents as well as the um, shower gels for both scents. There is another container here for the extra uh, washcloth size. So we have a lot of them, so feel free to either grab them from inside this cabinet or here depending. That, and then also on the shelf, way in the back, you have the disposable 
boxers and briefs for the men when you have a body polish, as well as all of the brushes for the, the masks, the back and foot mask. And you'll have your rubber bowls for both of those services as well. On the bottom shelf, what you'll have is a lot of our hand treatment um, stuff. So you've got your mitts, your packages that have all of the hand treatment stuff. Refer to that video to see what all that is. You have your baggies for making more hand treatment bags. You've got the eco fin as well as your disposable shower caps, thongs, and bikini or and um, and bras for our body polish. So that's everything that's in this cabinet. Now to the essence. Granted, you're not going to need much that's in here, but you need to know where it is so that when you're doing laundry, you can put them away. So their tones are mainly gray and white. They do have a couple brown towels, but they're kind of this darker tone. So you've got their gray towels and these are their facial towels all here. So just go ahead and toss those in there when you're folding. And their bottom cabinet is where their facial wraps and waxing towels are. Okay, normally we shouldn't use their towels for anything, but if for some reason on a day you were out of, you cannot find a foot wrap towel, these brown, these gray ones that are kind of textury, they're the same size. So just keep that in mind if we're short on laundry and you're in a rush, use this one to replace your foot wrap towels. Just make sure it gets washed in and put back in the right cabinet. So when you move to the opposite side of the break room, we still have a lot more of things on this side. So each of these cabinets along the side, except for the one with the lock on it, and this third one from the end has things you may need in it. So this first cabinet is where you'll find all your extra lotion. So when the Biotone and Therapro bottles are empty, the extras are down here to replace, as well as the stress relief lotion for when you're using it for your body polish or your happy hour to refill. That's down here as well as the stress relief body wash. So that's all in this first cabinet. Second cabinet is where we have all of our hot stones. So if you have a hot stone add-on, you're gonna find all of your clean stones in this box right here as well as the black trays that you're gonna put a, a towel on to kind of transport them from place to place. That's me, an extra hand sanitizer bottles for your room are also in this cabinet. On the bottom shelf is kind of where everything for aromatherapy lives. So your grapeseed oil to when you're refilling all your aromatherapy, all the actual oils themselves, and there's a bunch of extras towards the back. So you have your extra alcohol bottles. If yours is leaking or something happens to it, you can get an extra one there. Same for your Therapro and Biotone bottles and the extra bottles for aromatherapy. If you notice that the one in your room is getting dirty or things like that, feel free to replace them and just relabel it with the correct scent. And instructions for mixing your aromatherapy is right here on the cabinet. So just fill it to the top, more or less, with the grapeseed oil, and it's about 18 to 20 drops of your desired scent in there. So it's a pretty easy mix. Just only do it when the bottle is mostly empty. This next cabinet is dedicated to happy hour. So everything for your happy hour service is in here. If you, all, all the, so you've got your trays, everything, your treats, everything but the tea is in this cabinet that you'll need. Feel free to watch that video to get a little more info on what's in here. Um, how to make the tea and tray protocol is here in the cabinet, so you're never going to be lost on how to get that tray set up. So ignore this third cabinet, but if you head to this one, this is where your crock pot is. So your crock pots for any service that requires that, body polish, happy hour, uh, anything like that is in here, as well as any, as any extra heaters and fans. If for some reason the one in your room is not working, feel free to treat to let Liana know that the one you have isn't working and take another one from in here. You just gotta figure out which one's a heater, 
which one's a fan, and those are all in there. So on the back side of the break room is Laundry Central. So everything that has to do with laundry is back here. So you'll see there we have four buckets, okay, the little white ones down here. So they are labeled on what goes inside. So this big one right here is for sheets. So any after you finish your service, pop it open, throw your dirty sheets inside. That includes your pillowcases and everything. This one, the little short one, is for towels. So this is where you're going to put all your service towels in there. So any all of our to, our dark to, earth toned towels, as well as any dirty um, kitchen towels, things like that. So you're going to find everything in here. This big guy right here, we aren't going to use very often to put things in, but when you're doing laundry, you should know what goes in here is all of our um, robes. The Estes will throw in some of their white facial towels in here as well because they want them to be a whites only kind of wash. But anything kind of with that waffle pattern basically is going to go in here. So if someone leaves a robe in your room uh, because you're their second service or anything like that, just toss it in here. This last one is one we will never use because this is for waxing towels. So the estheticians will throw their big waxing towels in here. Um, just note, if you're doing laundry, make sure you use a pair of rubber gloves to remove because they're waxing towels in. They've been in places that we don't particularly want to touch with bare hands. So just make sure you take care of that. You have your washer and your dryer back here. They are set on auto times when you're using the wash. Make sure you choose hot. Please refer to the laundry video for further instructions on how to use the washer and the dryer. Uh, then you come into back here, and this is where all your clean linens are going to be. Okay, so we have um, four cabinets that we're going to use. So this top cabinet here is where all your pillowcases will be. We do have two colors. The gray or these um, brownish tan ones match the sheets you're going to be using but these uh, more yellow ones are kind of a bit of a softer texture. So you can use those for your headrest as well. Um, some people rather use them to cover up their pillows for pregnancy massage or just different things. It's always good to have extra pillowcases. So when you're done with laundry, you'll see a lot of our robes end up hanging on this door, but inside of here are kind of those yellow sheets that match those pillowcases. These are the oil sheets. So back in the day when we used um, oil instead of lotion, these were the sheets that are used. So they're not particularly very soft and they're, they're just here as a backup if for some reason we have a super busy week or weekend and there's no sheets left, do use these. But generally speaking, you're gonna use the sheets in the next cabinet. As you can see, we have to do some laundry um, folding. So on the doors of this cabinet is where we hang up the sheets. We don't want them to get wrinkled. Again, refer to that laundry video for further instructions on that, but they hang on the doors. And inside you'll see all the rolled up tan sheets for your bed or your table. So you wanna make sure you grab um, any of these tan ones first before you take um, those yellow ones. And the last thing you may need down here is uh, we do wash the blankets on Sundays. If for some reason your room is missing a blanket, they are down here. Uh, the CMT ones are these gray, gray ones on top. The esthetician ones are on the bottom. And I believe sometimes hanging out back here is an extra bed, um, the extra cover for the bed that goes on top of the heat, the heating pad. Uh, if for some reason yours is dirty or needs to be washed, there is an extra one. If it's not there, ask somebody and we'll help you find it. All right, so when you come into your room, the first thing you wanna check out is your cabinet. All right, so on our door, there is a setup of where everything should be. So top shelf here, you should have your fan and your heater. Every rooms are a little bit different, but you should have one of each up here on the top shelf. Unless you're in room one, which is where Dr. G is, there, some things may be up on that top shelf at, as well. And then, then you hit your second shelf here. So you should have your four 
your four aromatherapy bottles, okay, your spray bottle with alcohol, and your massage lotion. So there's two different kinds, okay? So your clear bottle will have your Biotone massage lotion. Make sure you only fill it with Biotone. Your blue one is your Theracro. Again, make sure you fill it only with Theracro. Don't mix, guys. Just in case people have allergies, we want to make sure that there's no cross-contamination between the lotions. Okay, and then you should have a hand sanitizer. Some rooms have two because one's a little bit empty, but as long as you have one of those. You'll have a bottle of our stress relief lotion, our Be Relaxed. So this is for use when you're using your um, back and foot mask or sometimes in head to toe it's nice because then it's a little extra scent when you're working extra on their feet, things like that. Then you should have some Orthogel. Every room's bottle of Orthogel is a little different, but you should have one of those. And then you should have a glass cup of some kind with hair ties in it, just in case your client needs them. It's fine if it's in the back there. And then the last thing that's on this shelf is your bone pillow and your eye cover. And the third shelf, it says, is your cavi gear, as well as in most rooms, that's where your checklist is going to be, somewhere on this shelf, as well as your clock. Okay, so then you should have your tissue box down here on your shelf. However you want to place it, just have it there. All right, so now we're going to talk about bed setup. So the way that you want to come to your table and check out how the sheets are folded. So you want to make sure that this top part of your flat sheet is not showing. So the way to, the easiest way to do that is kind of fold it in thirds. So again, fold, so kind of fold it in half up to the line of your blanket and then fold it back over one more time and make sure it's nice and straight, no wrinkles. Okay, a same with your fitted sheet. You want to make sure there's no wrinkles. I know we have these corners here, but try to, you know, make them flat, pull it down from your, the top. The easiest way to make sure there's no wrinkles is once you put it on, you hit the end of the table and just give it a good old fashioned tug. And that should help release all the wrinkles that are in here and pull it nice and tight. So the other thing that should be on your table is a pillowcase. So you want to put it just right here in the middle because it's a signifying that this has been clean, your headrest has been cleaned. At the end of, every time you have a client, you should be spraying it down with alcohol to make sure that it's clean. And when you're in the room, it's okay, just spray it, put your headrest cover on however you do so. But at the end of your shift, you spray it down and leave it uncovered so that the person who comes in the next time knows that it's been cleaned. Last thing you want to check in your room is your robe, okay? Your robe and slippers should be on a black hanger. If for some reason it is not, please switch it out to be on a black hanger. Then you want to have it nice and tied in a bow just for look's sake. And then your slippers should be put right in the middle. Don't tie your slippers in the middle of the bow. It just looks tacky. So if you see that in your room, please fix it because sometimes people forget and you wanna make sure that's there or somebody else replaced the rope, okay? So that, and then on this side of your room, you have your fireplace, except in East, West, and Couples, those two do not have a fireplace, but every other room does. There is a, um, the light is on behind at the very back. So you just gotta reach forward around your decoration here and go ahead and flip it on when you enter your room and your candle okay so it's a flameless candle make sure you turn it on most of them have a timer setting so make sure you don't pull it all the way over to timer okay so make sure it's just in that middle position of on and then and then you're set up there then you plug go ahead and make sure you plug in your table and table warmer okay every the rooms have different table warmers. Uh, this room has one of these sunbeam ones, so you just click it and set it to whichever one you want. I particularly tend to keep it in the middle, 
There's other rooms that have one that has a dial and an on off switch. Um, if you have one of those, make sure the switch is on because it doesn't automatically turn on all the time because some people turn it off. And then again, it's a one to 10, so just set it where you like. My personal preference is out of five because it's right in the middle, your choice. And the last thing at the end of your bed should be one of these bronze-ish colored plastic tubs. So every room uh, has a label on theirs so you know which room. If you find it around, you can return it to the correct room. This is so you can put all your wet towels in to not put them on the carpet because you don't want to get the carpet wet. So anytime you have extra towels, your foot wraps, things like that, just throw them in here and then when you walk out of the room, you just take it with you nice and easy. So make sure you spray it down with alcohol after you use it. One of the signature parts of our massage is a hot foot towel wrap. So there are two ways to do it. You can either do it when you have your client face down or when your client is face up. It's really up to you in your massage, depending on whether you want to do it right at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. It's really up to you. Um, this is the part where you can be a little bit creative in how you do your massage. But I'm gonna show you how to wrap the client's feet in both positions. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one of the larger, um, they're kind of a beige colored towel. They're different textures, but you need one of those. And you're gonna need two hot towels. So go ahead and grab two of those from your cabbie. So the easiest way to, they're hot, go ahead and take your little bowl and throw them in there for a second while you set up. All right, so what you're gonna do is if you're face down, go ahead and pull your blanket back and pull your sheet back. You wanna make sure your towel is folded in the lengthwise way in half. Then you can either lift the client's feet up yourself, ask them, just have them put them up, and then you're going to relax and adjust it as needed just to make sure their foot's gonna be covered. Take your first towel, go ahead and just shake it out a little bit because you know it is hot. And you're gonna just kind of wrap the whole foot. Don't help me here. <laughs> go ahead and wrap the foot up, make sure everything's nice and covered. And wrap your towel around. Go ahead and do the same thing with the other foot. Just wrap up. Doesn't have to be pretty, guys. Just make sure that the whole foot is wrapped. Wrap them up. And then pull your sheet and blanket back and continue to do your massage. If this is the first thing you do, go ahead and work on your back and go ahead and remove them before you move on to doing their legs. But to remove, same process. Go ahead, pick up your sheet, pull it back nice because especially if there's even if it's gone a little bit cold it still feels good go ahead and just put a little squeeze give them a little squeeze before removing go ahead and remove just take everything off and remember to dump them back in your bronze bucket so go ahead and remove everything put it in the bucket make sure you take your towel and damp get all the dampness off you don't want them to feel wet at all. Go ahead and remove. And then put them back up and proceed to the next part. So if you're gonna wrap the foot towels when your client is face up, you're gonna follow more or less the same procedure. So you're gonna grab that same foot, um, foot towel that's the same size. You're gonna grab two hot towels from your cabbie. Easy, just place them inside of your bronze bucket. Go ahead and pull the blanket back, pull the sheet back. Make sure you fold it in that lengthwise fashion again. And if they lift up for you, great. If not, lift up their feet. So this way, you wanna make sure that you're not gonna get it. You can get your towel under the heel, but you kinda don't have to because you're 
whole foot is more or less going to get wrapped here. But you can, you can kind of make it a booty, however you want. Go ahead and wrap them up. Same with the second towel. Shake it out a minute. Go ahead and wrap it up. You can get it under the heel if you want. Just make sure the whole foot is wrapped. Wrap them up and cover. Then, depending on how you like to do your massage, you can go do arms first, you can do neck first, however, but you don't want to do too much when they're face up because the towels do get cold after, you know, five-ish minutes or so. So don't leave them here like for half an hour. That's a little too long, but go ahead and proceed with your massage. And to remove, it's the same thing. Pull back your blanket, pull back. Go ahead and give them a little squeeze. Unwrap, pull your towels off, put them in your bucket. Pull them off, and again, make sure you dab and try to remove as much of that moisture as you can because you don't want them to get cold. Throw your towel in your bucket, pull them back, and proceed. Do your legs however you do the next part of your massage. 